It started with the first possession of the second half. The ball whipped all over the place. There were multiple opportunities to throw up a tough one, and they just found the next right guy. And ball goes in a couple times. Now every shot becomes a little bit easier because you're feeling better. It feels great, especially because we got knocked out by these guys. I think also the fact that they were kind of uh, dealing with us pretty easy there in the first half. The vibe was down. Um, and for us to have a comeback win like this is, is huge for us. Roll presented by Town Fair Tires. Town Fair Tire Boston Sports tonight. Tom Giles, Michael Holly, Daniel hey. Trotta. Wow. Wow. In a game where they didn't, they, didn't, real? they didn't have Jalen Brown. For real? Didn't have Jalen Brown. They're down by 19. <laughs> Thought, okay, well, you, you just don't have it tonight. And the way they played in the third quarter and the fourth quarter was just remarkable. That first half. Just think about the first half. What were your thoughts, Danielle, that they just can't compete with Milwaukee? It be yeah, over. yeah, yeah it Milwaukee. Was right. Like right. Milwaukee's on a completely different level, right? Right. That's, right. What, that's sure. what we were thinking in the first half. No one saw this coming. We're going to look back at the end of the year, however this ends, and say that was the best comeback win of the year, possibly. No real five. Ennis Cantor's out. Jalen Brown at the last minute is out. With Giannis, it's impressive. All right, let's bring in uh, Chris Forsberg, who joins us live from the Garden. And Forsberg, what did you see besides just the star players taking over of Tatum and Hayward and Kemba Walker from this team tonight? Well, I mean, we saw what we didn't see last year, which was like resolve and the ability to fight through adversity and to be kind of fun again. Uh, it was, it was. I thought, it, as Brad said, it sort of started on the first play of the third quarter. You could just tell they came out with a good energy there. They whipped the ball around. They got a good look. They got a couple threes there. Felt like it sort of started to snowball a little bit. And on the other side, they sort of frustrated Milwaukee into taking long threes, and and they weren't falling. And he kind of got some momentum going. And the next thing you know, Jason Tatum's high five and Paul Pierce, and off goes that run. So. Uh, uh, it's just, again, I go back to the resolve thing. We, we talked so much last year about how when things started to go sideways, this team never knew how to respond. And it just sort of, these were the type of games where they would just roll over and let Milwaukee win by a lopsided margin. And tonight they didn't do that. And so that's just super encouraging. And listen, it's only game four. I don't know if we can suggest that this is a new sort of mindset for this team, but it's certainly an encouraging first step. I'm wondering, Forsberg, because the turnaround was so stunning, as Danielle said, said earlier, nobody saw it coming. Do you think that Milwaukee kind of eased a bit in the third quarter? Did you get any sense that, hey, we're the Milwaukee Bucks, we got this team, we'll just, uh, we'll just kind of coast along and, and nail in this double-digit win? Yeah, but I think they just more settled for bad shots or, or just got complacent to take three-pointers. And listen, the Celtics fell into that trap a lot uh, over last year, and, and certainly there'll be times this season where you fall in love with that shot. And But give the Celtics credit. You know, like Giannis could have really f taken over this game based on the fact that the Celtics didn't have much size to put up there against them, but they dispatched Marcus Smart. Even when they got switches, they sort of scrambled Tice over there to help out defensively. Robert Williams comes in and plays good minutes. I think we all sat there going into this game and said, how is that? Clearly, are they going to defend Giannis? And no Horford, no Baines. It seemed like a daunting task, but they found a way to sort of, you know, if it's possible, sort of limit Giannis and, and take and for, uh, prevent him from really taking over the game. So give them credit. They took Milwaukee away from what they can do and what we saw a lot of in the postseason last year. I'll give credit where credit is due, Forsberg. We've been waiting for this moment. Daniel Tice showed up against <laughs> one of the big men, the best big men in the NBA. Uh, pretty impressive. But also at its best, hello, Kemba Walker. I think this was the breakout game he needed uh, since becoming a member of this Boston Celtics team. At their best, when they're shooting well, I mean, like Brad said, they're small. We're small, right? And their five was out tonight. So these boys had a big challenge. And at their best, when they're, hit, they're hitting those outside shots, this team could be pretty impressive. Yeah, and not only Kemba, but Gordon Hayward. I thought Gordon had a bad first half. You know, couldn't really get anything going early on. You know, it's, it goes back to the resolve thing. Like, how do you turn the page and don't let a bad half snowball? And all these guys, and especially Kemba here at the start of his Boston tenure, has been very good about sort of moving on and just kind of catching fire at one point. I and mean, it's funny to me, I looked up at one point, I said, oh, my God, Kemba has 32. It was it was it felt like a quiet 32, except for the little burst there that kind of tore open the game. I thought Hayward really just had some moments there where he went to another level, uh, felt like get some extra explosion there in the third quarter. And again, that's just good to see because you're going to have times when you just don't have it. And the ability to sort of move on and still be an impactful player uh, at spurts of the game is, is really encouraging. And look, at it, again, across the board now, what was it, three guys over 20 points? Um, and without Jalen Brown, that's just a really encouraging sign that they both can share the ball uh, and find ways for everybody to get involved.